Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion. The fit for this video is DuckTales. A woo! -hoo. Let's take a look at a video. How tall was Goliath? All right, let's see it. So the Bible tells us that he measured six cubits and a span. So this depends on what Bible we're talking about. There's no such thing as the Bible. We have to make decisions about what canon we're talking about, about what manuscripts we're going to prioritize, about what translations we're going to be looking at. And there are actually three different readings of this text across the different manuscripts and translations. If we look in the Septuagint, we have one text that reads six cubits in a span. We have one text that reads five cubits and a span. We have another that reads four cubits and a span. The four cubits reading is actually in agreement with what Josephus reports, as well as this fragment of 1 Samuel from the Dead Sea Scrolls. And so the Bible is going to put Goliath's height somewhere between around six foot nine inches and around nine foot nine inches, depending on which manuscript you're going to decide was most original. Which probably isn't helpful to most people. But in Hebrew culture, a cubit is the distance from your elbow to your fingertip. It's about 18 inches, so a foot and a half. And so six of those would be nine feet, and a span is the distance of your hand, the length of your hand. So probably about nine foot six inches is where, where most people land. So that's if we accept Goliath as a historical figure, which he almost certainly was not. But if we do accept him as a historical figure, that raises the question of what's going on in 2 Samuel 21, 19 and 1 Chronicles 20, verse 5, where we seem to have this alternative tradition where this dude named Elhanan is the one who killed Goliath, the shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And a lot of scholars today would say what most likely happened here is the tradition originally attributed Goliath's killing to Elkanon, uh, but the folks who were curating the tradition of David and his rise to the throne were probably obscuring or at least trying to recontextualize his origins as a mercenary who probably killed his way to the throne and are trying to champion him as this underdog who had a bunch of miraculous military victories and that's how God moved moved him to the throne. The story of killing this giant named Goliath was probably appropriated from this earlier tradition that attributed that killing to Elhanan.